guys, Hu Shang here. Welcome to another Hu Shang Tutorials video. In this video, we're going to be looking at a Terran vs. Zerg I played. Let's look at my perspective here. And so, this isn't a perfect game by any means. Um, I still have a lot to work on with Zerg, but I figured I would show you guys a video of a standard ZVT and, uh, and show you the, the mistakes, the, the correct plays, etc. So we're just opening up with a standard hatch first gas pool. And from here I'm going to play the build that I did a tutorial on a couple days ago I believe. So we're going to get, you know, three gas, get our double upgrades going, our bane lean speed, and then progress into the mid game like that. So here he's kind of annoying uh, my third base and he sent this SCV super early. Blocks that. I kind of wanted him to do that, invest a little bit of money, and then I just take the other third, which is a really nice feature of this map pool, by the way. Pretty much every map you can take the, the other third, and so it's not a huge problem if they try to block, which was pretty annoying on some of the other maps in the last pool. So here I went hatch before queens, so I'm going to make six zerglings. I think I said this in the uh, tutorial as well. I'm not sure if this is right, but it seems to be okay. Here I made a small overlord mistake. I didn't get the 26 overlord and then speed, which would have been more correct. And my overlord scouted that he's going to Hellions, which is pretty important. Here I'm just checking to see if he's paying attention. <laughs> he was. Sometimes you can get a cheeky surround there using my lings to let us get that creep tumor safely. So from here, we're going to get the double overlord at 34 and 36, and then we're going to fill the gases. Small little rally point error there. You can see I'm making, you know, tons of little mistakes here and there. It's pretty normal. Okay, let's get that queen over to the third base, drop our creep tumor. I probably should use my lings to defend that. Let's see if I do. Okay, I did do that. Nice. Let's fill the gases. Get our injects. Start building our queen count. And then here's my my major mistake this game is I'm at, uh, you know, a pretty low drone count. Likely, or preferably, I would like to be at maybe 46 and then take my gases. But um, for some reason, I thought I was already there at this point. So... I, I take them on the next drone wave, which is quite early. So that's one of those things I can fix. That that might seem like a small mistake to some of you actually, but um, if the, the mineral drone ratio is is off, um, pretty much the same concept as the, the TVT video from recently, you you really get thrown off in your economy. Like taking your gases too quickly is is pretty huge. So if if you find you're doing that in your games, that's definitely something you want to focus on. Successful. Okay, here I make a bunch of lings. He's actually playing 3cc, but from my perspective, I thought he might have been doing uh, some sort of really committed Hellion Hellbat timing. So I made quite a few lings. Actually, if I pause, I'll show you. So right over here, usually they're they're making their depots, they're grabbing a CC. Um, I'm not going for Overlord speed, so I have to play a little more safe because. He might have not went for this third CC. He might be going really fast three racks. But I don't think this puts us too behind or anything because I didn't invest in the Overlord speed, so it's not uh, you know too bad. Okay, and then here is five minutes where I should be dropping my Evos. And I am, but the again the the gas mineral ratio is is a bit off, so I'm slightly behind in drones from where I should be. I could probably be up another uh, five or ten even. And you can see that you know even though I started the evos on time when I was supposed to, the the gas is much higher than I would need uh, to get those upgrades. So we would have rather taken those gases earlier, but we're getting into a pretty comfortable mid-game position, just a little behind. I actually forgot my spores because of that, same reason. I didn't have enough minerals to to get the spores, so I, I just forgot them. Which is actually pretty common, uh, for me at least, is 
if I mess up the gas mineral ratio, I just forget things that I need minerals for. Because I'm trying to cut corners and get the things at the, the regular time I get them. Okay, so now we've pretty much got the economy we want. I'm going to be playing a very aggressive Ling Bane style this game. So I'm not even going to get the, the Hydra Den. And I'm just going to stay on like 66 workers. This probably isn't viable at all against uh, really strong GMs like pro level, but it's super fun. <laughs> so let's try it out. Do a little counter attack here. I know that he doesn't have too many Hellions at this point. And he actually gets super distracted by this, which is awesome. So we get to take out all the Hellions. And so from here, I'm just, you know, feeling really comfortable taking our fourth, keeping up the injects. Our 1-1's one -one's getting uh, about halfway to three quarters done, so that'll be sweet once that finishes. We can probably take some good engagements. And then so I might have wanted to drone here and, and leverage our gas. So we could have made like 16 Banelings and then droned a bunch. And the Banelings are pretty powerful, so you can you can get out a good drone count if you do something like that. Um, but instead we're going to play aggressive. So I'm making tons of links. We're sneaking in the Overlord speed. Getting our infestation pit pretty fast since we're going to be going uh, pretty quick upgrades and uh, no other tech, so it should be okay. And then here, here is kind of my micro mistake. What I wanted to do was have the queens pick off the, the medevacs and then bring in the lings, like make him feel like he can commit, bring in the lings and surround the uh, marines and then pick off the medevacs. But since I have them kind of in the choke point and he blocks it, which is pretty smart. My lings can't get through, so I have to move the queens and... Well, it's okay, but we don't get to snipe the Metamax. Or at least, uh, not, not both of them. But, I mean, that's still a great uh, engagement for us. So, from here, I'm feeling like we're pretty much... You know, the game's pretty much over. I do a big drone wave, get 2-2, and then we start counterattacking. So here I thought maybe he doesn't have too many units at home. He has a fair bit, so I just pull back, play it safe. I'm, I might have been able to break that, to be honest. It's possible. But instead, I send my Banelings around and then get ready for a more of a two-prong attack. This base doesn't have a queen. There we go. Fourth base, fifth base. Upgrades are looking good. Our opponent actually forgot his upgrades, which is really awesome for us so now we're ahead in the upgrades even though we were behind earlier and then okay this this definitely could have been timed better by me ideally what happens is i come in with the links he's distracted for a second and then my banelings get to sneak in but i guess i guess his attention wasn't uh was on macro or something anyway so it, it worked out but um definitely could have improved that there Right in game, I was thinking, oh, I should have just hit the barracks. I could have got this depot as well, but that's pretty small, so no big deal. And then I actually... So this, this is actually a good teaching moment, because I think a lot of people would get overly focused here on the Banelings. And I think most really strong GMs would also focus on the Banelings. But there's this, this point before, you know, top GM, where you don't want to focus on the Banelings here, because it could get, um, you know, over chaotic. Right, like there's there's gonna be this drop. I mean, there could easily be another drop that we haven't seen yet. And so, if you're focusing over here, then you know you might throw this game. So what I do is I just you know move command them, let them do whatever. Honestly, haven't watched this replay, so I have no idea what these do. <laughs> and then over here, we just focus on the defense, which is more important for keeping the game uh, going smoothly. Actually, do these Banelings even hit? They do. Maybe that's why he left. Um, but focusing on the defense here, I think, is more important, especially if there's more than one going on and uh, and you need a lot of attention over here. Just ease up on the pressure, let the the AI kind of do its thing, and and focus on the defense instead, or or whatever is important. Maybe for you, it's the macro, right? Focus on the macro instead. Okay, cool. So hopefully, you guys have a better idea of how ZVT plays out. This is maybe not the the main style, but definitely an effective one. 
And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.